Senator Obama, it seems that on the 4th of November, and there sometimes afterward, you are going to be nominated President of the United States. It seems inevitable now. You, sir, did not earn it. You were placed there by a liberal media, or media in general, including almost every newspaper in the United States. You were placed there, sir, by folks like Oprah Winfrey, uh, the, new, the, the news media uh, pundits, undeserved. You have not earned it. Where I come from, you're supposed to earn your position in life and your lot. You, sir, have not. I was stationed in Berlin Brigade, 1977 through 1980. While I was there, I had the distinct pleasure of guarding Rudolf Hess in Spandau Prison. We weren't supposed to look at him, but I did. I looked into his eyes, and I saw the remnants of the last time a people fell in love with a eloquent speaker. The people fell in love with a savior. And when I saw you in Berlin that day with 200 or 300,000 people, I thought to myself, here we go again. Then I see it in my own country. I know firsthand what it's like to look at communism and the split families and everything else that goes along with what you believe in. You make no bones about it. You pretty much come out and say, this is what I believe in. These are the folks I admire. I cannot see how any service member can serve in the military under you. You are illegitimately going to be placed in the presidency and you're going to be placed there by a majority of votes that I agree however that does not make it right example Hugo Chavez won the majority of votes and you can say yeah he was uh, dem uh, uh, elected through a democratic process Hezbollah was elected by the majority of the people does that make them right? No. You were only elected because, because the media in general, these people who beat up on innocent folks have placed you there. No other reason. You haven't earned it. If you would be honest with the American people, you would stand up right now and tell them, listen, that stock market is crashing because I am fixing to bring this, my, uh, yourself or myself, you would say, myself and the Democratic Congress are going to bring this country closer, closer to socialism. Investors are running from you, sir. That stock market is crashing because of you and no other reason, and it is going to crash. This country is headed for hard times. The majority of people that are putting you in, I would say that most of them that are voting for you, and those news media, pundits, and folks of their caliber, ho Hollywood types, have never sacrificed, would never pick up an arm, would, would never serve in the military, and you're going to lose a lot of the military. Because real men protect their families. Real men smell a rat and they're not going to serve under you now what you will have to do is bring back the draft and I, I'm sure people like Barney Franks would love that however you've got, you got a problem the problem is that your democratic mentor and beloved ex-president Jimmy Carter legitimized forever draft dodging. 